Yeah, the person just walk up to me and just uh, spat at my face. Give me a lot of vulgarities of uh, Lee Kuan Yew. Give me uh, trying to pick up a, a, a fight. I went up to him and said, uh, Lee Sin Lung, can you help me sign on the Lee Kuan Yew figurine? And he asked me one question. Why should he sign on Lee Kuan Yew? Give me one good reason why. Actually, a lot of people mistaken that I'm um, into the uh, political arena. To make it uh, straight, is that I'm not into politics. Actually, I'm an artist. To sculpt one uh, with a concept idea it will take me about a month. They only do about 100 pieces, 200 pieces max. And then uh, this will be all for my museum. There wasn't an art school like NAFA, LASAL, Tomasic Poly. There wasn't a, a, a specific school which teach you sculpting. So what happened was, uh, what you see here, I started off from the bottom and raise up the ranks of uh, become an artist, a sculptor. I was actually uh, seconded to uh, Universal Studios in uh, Los Angeles doing uh, Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck, King Kong and all those kind of figures. So I, I had my hands on onto the uh, figurines. When I came back to Singapore, I was uh, asked to help out with the uh, Singapore Team Park Universal Studios, Madagascar. I was actually the one who was in charge of Madagascar. Every figurine which you see here, right, was actually a National Day's iconic uh, figurine. This is called the, the Iron Man. Okay, some of the figurines which I, I scarf, right, people think that this is 3D, um, 3D printing, but it's not 3D printing. Uh, a lot of my friends told me that nobody ever tried to do a Lee Kuan Yew sculpting and also um, nobody dared as a Singaporean dared to do uh, or offend uh, Lee Kuan Yew. I did my first Lee Kuan Yew sculpting as the guy who uh, did the Mandeka which, and then I, I used to carry it for the rallies. Everybody, all the Singaporeans wanted to take up pictures of me with the Lee Kuan Yew figurines. A lot of people asking me why Lee Kuan Yew and not uh, Obama or whoever. Um, because I realized that if I could do Lee Kuan Yew as a Singaporean, I would, and eventually I wanted to open up my own museum, and that the whole world would actually come to this little red dot to see all the uh, figurines of Lee, uh, Lee Kuan Yew. Actually, a lot of people mistaken that I'm um, into the uh, political arena. To make it uh, straight, is that I'm not into politics. Actually, I'm an artist. So whatever I'm doing today or now, um, it's nothing to do with PAP or, or opposition, um, that PAP is supporting me or, or somebody's behind this whole idea of doing Lee Kuan Yew. There's nobody behind this. It's 100% me. This is the, this is the one. Really cool. Is it made out of the uh, uh, fiberglass? Okay, the first time when I brought out um, 2011 election of Lee Kuan Yew, it was actually uh, very scary because uh, a lot of people was running away from me and a lot of people from quite a distance was taking up pictures of, of me and they don't dare to come close. Nobody took it as a joke, but everybody took it as a really... Uh, serious thing, I could read their mind that this guy is, uh, is going to ask him a big trouble. Okay, one day I was actually in the MRT with uh, Lee Kuan Yew figurines and I was sitting on op opposite side of a computer. So um, when the guy uh, spotted me with the Lee Kuan Yew, gave me a lot of vulgarities of uh, Lee Kuan Yew gave me uh, trying to pick up a, a, a fight. Yeah, the person just walked up to me and just uh, spat at my face. Uh, I, my reaction was like, uh, not say shocking, but the reaction was that, why? Why you do this? Uh, the reaction is that, do I know you? Do, do I offended you? And what are you trying to uh, prove? Um, the reason why I did other figurines is because I didn't want to uh, stigma myself as a PAP guy. So now, if I do open up my museum, right, I wanted to have the journey from Lee Kuan Yew's time that um, all the opposition people, right, 
did happen to meet uh, Lee Kuan Yew along the way. Eh? Okay, um, based on this, I don't think I would stop um, uh, doing uh, what I'm doing. From my point of view, I just realized that maybe I was too uh, focused on one political party, which is called the PAP. But I realized that I should not only do um, PAP, I should do Workers' Party, Lutakyang, or, or other parties, other local parties. This, is the f this was specially done for the funeral. A lot of people ask me this question. Why he's not wearing shoes? Okay, the reason why he wasn't wearing any shoes is because when you pass away, right? So-called, I don't say I believe. Right? When you pass away, you're going to see God. And when you go and visit God in his house, right? Normally, you take out your shoes, eh? respect. So that was the respect which I'm talking about when you took out your shoes. Eh? Because of my work, right? Um, Shamugam and, and uh, some of the PAP people, they did give me priority to go so-called first to uh, pay respect. You need to join the four or five hours queue. But I refused that uh, so-called invitation to be prioritized. But I wanted to join the, the real long crowd to attend the film. And then uh, towards the ending, or maybe midway of the ending, uh, I met Mr. Shamugan solemnly with a big smile when I was carrying the Lake Wanyu figurine. He politely told me that now we understand why you are doing it. 